coming out of prison. Maybe I should sleep. Is there a bed up here? Oh no, it's a private area. Don't want to go back to jail. No, alright, here we go. Let's try this again. You got a problem with me? We cool? All right. I had to turn. I, I had to serve two servings, apparently, because I wasn't carrying a torch at night. But I have definitely learned my lesson. I shall don a torch. Oh, hey, it's a it's a guy from that that board meeting. Thank you, he's gonna let me in. Yes! Woo! All of this. Just because I was trying to sleep. Are you, are you still in bed? Get up, cranky pants. Ugh. This is wild. When is this fucker gonna get up? Now he's not even right there. He's Where is he? Yep. Yo, Bernard. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Adzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now go to the Rat House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. to the bailiff. Man, these textures, you cannot get too far away from them or else they are just gone.
I want to go dig up that body. I guess, uh, I've got some time. I don't have forever, but I have some time because I got interrupted doing that. Hmm. Look, I'm trespassing. I'm a trespassing. Sounds like that's where I need to be. Man, I keep doing that for the map. Ugh. It's a weird uh, setup. Report to the bailiff. Trying. Are you the bailiff? Oh. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? Unlock it. Where's the fucking bailiff, man? your story hmm. oh where's the goddamn bailiff he's damn what fucking time is it door is just dude where's the fucking bailiff that's not a door he's above me somewhere above me
Alright, what does the quest exactly say? Make myself known to the bailiff. How the shit do I get up there? Oh, please be this. Please tell me the bailiff somewhere. I'm looking for the bailiff. Yes! My respects to you. What? Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up totally some gear. I need to do that. Yes, Bailiff. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Alright. Pick up your kid at the armory. Join Nightingale on patrol between 11 and 1900. Okay. Nice. We are questing. Let's go grab this armor. Vegetable, Where's the armor? This should be it, right? There's a blacksmith, I guess blacksmith is different than the armor. Let's check the map. Oh, I was right, right in the first place. Kid at the army. Okay, that's uptown. There's a lot of things. I am liking this game so far. I know I haven't done much, and I, I, I haven't, I haven't shot anyone with a bow yet, which you really want to do. But it's immersive, and it's uh. It's definitely turned out to be a great RPG experience. Um, hiding from that guard, <laughs> hiding from that guard was really cool. And then, I mean, it sucked because ultimately he just recognized me when I went right back. But it was kind of cool to play hide and seek in the city for a little bit. All right, armory, armory, armory. Dun 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 dun. dun. Ah. Uh. 
Oh, so that's the guard. I don't want to talk to the guard. I want to talk. Okay, where? <laughs> that's the. Oh, this is the cobbler. Okay, okay, okay. What the hell, man? I'm getting so lost in these buildings. I'm looking for the armor. What the I'm hell? Sorry, dude. Well? I'm sorry. Jesus, look where you're going. What part didn't you mm. understand? What? You fucking move. Going. Why am I getting so lost in this city? I'm pick up your kit at the armory. I wish I could swing this map around. It's clearly okay. Let's see if we can get on the castle wall. Thank you. Is this all right? This is the right area. Okay. Ooh, I thought we had a game crash. We pulled through. I'm extremely tired. Can I steal? I just need a bow for myself. Can I steal this halberd? This halberd. Oh. Woodcutter's axe. Bardiche. All right. Elm longbow. Ash hunting bow. I want the longbow. I'm gonna 
am having trouble finding the armory. You know, but now I'm trying. I'm starting to think it is outside of castle walls, which is just silly. But I think that's what the case is. Right? Because... Oh, shit. I can't go that way. I'd love to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. I'll get you something. Come on, let me get out. I have a limited time for this quest, so like, I kinda need to take care of business here. I'd love to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Not once has that worked. Why am I getting so lost, man? It's not, it's obviously, okay, so it's obviously not outside fucking. Is it though? Why? <laughs> I don't even care. Pissing me off. to eat. <sighs> what do you got to say about this quest? I was told to pick oh, up a kit here. Dude. Here he is. Name? Henry. And, in fealty to... Sir Radzik Kobola? Hmm, yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If by memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. I feel quite hungry. All right. <clears throat> that better not happen a lot. All right, so. Time to equip all this new stuff.
<laughs> the one I stole earlier, or whatever. Ten, bam braces. Yeah, over the four, that's good. Warhouse Gambison, Warhorse Gambison. Eight, what's that taking me from? Eight. From five? Yeah, okay. So, sweet. too much. Alright, so... <clears throat> 11 and 19 times it. too much, but I don't want to just drop it. Let's see if you can sell it. Is it a tailor? What do we have right here? Looks like a grocer. What's this? What are you looking for? Sweet. Ah, oh, this will do. God be with you. So you're not that well. Yeah, okay, I don't want to exit the shop because I'm so fucking confused what just happened. The usual. Just take all my clothes that I'm not wearing, dude. <clears throat> Your wealth. Trade is worth 180. So. Sell. Armor. Add the basket. 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 Add a bat. No, oh, 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 oh. Now we're talking. Okay, so. Back to sell. You can take the, that 
definitely the poor quality arrows. My pernatch. Check basket. Do you want to get me in trouble? Don't try selling me stolen goods. I could do with a bite to what eat. What did I? What will it be? You bastard! What? What did I try to sell you? What do I still have? Is a good. Is a question. I still have these. Okay. What do you need? Alright, so... <laughs> He's not gonna take that, so no one else would take that. I'm just gonna drop what I don't need. Um, Weapon-wise. I don't... <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we'll drop that. Drop that. <laughs> Should take some weight off. Alright. I need to get something to eat. I'll just eat from my inventory. <laughs> what the fuck is the poisoning? <clears throat> Skull down there. That went away. I feel quite hungry. Still hungry? Alright. Oh, they're in here. <laughs> okay, um, where is this him right here? Did I walk right by him this whole fucking time? Damn it! I'm doing that. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a mm. car? So what if I am? There's a story going around about some lad who needed a girl to rescue him. I didn't expect that a... No offense. A coward would want to serve the bailiff. What actually happened? I went to find my parents in Scalitz. I had to give them a Christian burial. Only there were looters there. If I hadn't been for Teresa, I'd be lying in St. James's churchyard now. Or rotting in a field like so many others. But she came at the last minute with Sir Divish's knights. Your guardian angel must have been watching you. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? 
I want you to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. This is our church, St. Matthew's. Piss sometime. We're back. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I lost him already. No. I'd love to get something to eat. I'm starting oh, to get hungry. Henry, where do you keep running off nowhere, to? Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. I'm ready. Where did I get to? Ah. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there. And our maestro proto notarius, a scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the... Creek. Gallows Hill. Ha. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. Don't go to the church. Go back to your people. I don't want you. What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Can't you show her some Christian charity, Armour? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any arms or not? Yes. From the armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. Well, that's true. What would you know about it? Here, Jane. Take this and be on your way. Yes. Yes, thank you. Hmm. I'll go right away. Right away. God bless you, Henry. And what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so. You malnourished and his overall weak condition, your strength. Okay, I see what that is. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to the Hanush. If the town burgers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. What These is affairs it? often end in Being conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Just because <laughs> combat scenario, I can't take it up during combat, right? There it is. Okay. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter. He keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. <laughs> I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Filthy beggar. By Christ, I'll show the bastard. <coughs> Comfortable, are we? Um, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me, us, everyone. If the Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble. He's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice, too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Skullets. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Yeah, it's not the same. I've watched him get murdered, so... At least you lived his full life, your grandpa or your dad or whatever we're fucking talking about.
Rate Fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Cohelkis. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, and so on. It would take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush. Okay, the music is absurdly loud. Pater Nostra, qui es in seris, sanctificeto nomen tuum, veniat regnum tuum. Welcome, Henry. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for a nail. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're high stepping. <clears throat> hey, douchebag. Hey. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Huh? Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. I. Uh, uh. Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Oh, I feel God, quite hungry. Bernard. Out! Who got me all worked up? Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry, even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Why not? That's it. What? What? Hmm. That's it. Hmm. Now you.
That's all. Alright, you know what? I'm fine with that loss. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before Whoops. I'm not okay even though I am a guard all right I'll put it away I learned my lesson I don't want to go back to jail see obviously I learned my lesson I'm carrying a torch oh I know why I was arrested because I was in sneak mode and they think that's suspicious Could do with a bite to eat. <clears throat> I could do for something to drink. All right, the rat house. The rat house. I know where the bell is. and gets on with it. And she's quite deft at it by now. I'm not surprised. Betty was always good with her hands. <coughs> You're right there. Anyway, I could do I with a bite to eat. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. <laughs> Did <laughs> to find him? <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean... The beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> a toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save the bacon. <laughs> so, Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you... I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What, is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. 
And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman! Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, no, are no. you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. <clears throat> Classic. Fight in the alehouse. Till I take out my bow. Come here, bitch. In the name of Christ is happening here. Well, answer me, damn you. This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to- Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight! Sir, I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not I anymore! Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. <laughs> 